Yeah, looking great outside right now. This is a view to the northwest from the embassy suites in the old market. Some thin clouds out there, but generally clearer than the last couple of mornings. 65 at the airport. Dew point still in the mid 60s, so you might feel a little bit of mugginess early this morning, but those north to northeast winds will do good things later on this afternoon. Mid 60s pretty much across the entire Omaha metro area with these winds. Again, north to northeast only 10 to 15 miles an hour on the high side. Enough of a breeze to maybe cool you down if you're going to be in here or out and about this afternoon. So north and northeast, we're tapping into that air mass that's toward Minnesota, northern uh, Iowa and South Dakota. Those dew points more comfortable in the upper 50s and low 60s. It's also going to block the rain down to our south. You can see it's pretty stormy across I-70 in Kansas and eventually in Missouri. We might get a couple of high thin clouds to blow over the top of those thunderstorms, especially to our south. There are those high thin clouds. Temperatures by midday in the low to mid 80s. Upper 80s for highs later on this afternoon. And you can see we're mainly clear overnight, starting off in the mid 60s again tomorrow morning. And we're going to be back in the upper 80s to near 90 heading into Friday. But that dry weather continues for the start of the 4th of July weekend. Pleasant, near 90 on Saturday, but Sunday, mostly dry, temperatures in the low 90s. There might be a thunderstorm overnight, possibly in the early evening if you're to the north. So notice how we're dry all the way through probably the evening of 4th of July, but weak cold front. If you live north of Omaha, just keep an eye on the forecast because there could be a couple of isolated storms Sunday evening north. Temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s through the weekend it starts to get humid as we head into Monday and Tuesday, and that's when our storm chances go up again and we bring impact weather back to the forecast.